Irrigation of the eye is a common procedure performed after a presenting complaint of chemical or bodily fluid exposure to the eye. Chemical exposure is a very common occurrence in both the workplace and at home. Improper management can lead to permanent visual and ocular disability. Thus, appropriate and timely treatment is imperative. Both acidic and alkali compounds may severely damage the cornea or other structures of the eye. Acidic burns tend to be superficial and limited in damage, whereas alkali injuries are usually more severe and may penetrate the eye. If there is suspicion of an open globe injury, perform a fluorescein examination of the eye prior to irrigation. If perforation is confirmed or is unable to be reliably excluded, proceed with a gentle irrigation and obtain immediate ophthalmological consultation. Place the patient supine on the stretcher. Hang the bags of saline irrigation fluid several feet above the patient's head. If available, a plastic drainage bin may be used to collect the irrigation fluid. Check the pH of the eye prior to irrigation by placing a piece of pH paper in the inferior fornix. Normal pH of the eye is 7.0. Next, place two drops of topical ocular anesthetic in the affected eye. Ask the patient to look upward and place the medication into the inferior fornix. Instruct the patient to keep his eye closed after the application in order to retain the medication. If there is suspicion of particulate matter in the eye, sweep it out with a moistened cotton-tipped applicator prior to irrigation. Both the inferior and superior fornices should be swept. Open the wheel clamp on the intravenous tubing and begin to irrigate the eye. Hold the tubing several centimeters above the eye. Direct the flow to all portions of the eye, including both the inferior and superior fornices and the cornea. The duration of irrigation will vary according to the clinical scenario and must continue until the pH is normalized. In many cases, 15 to 20 minutes of irrigation are required and several liters of saline is used. The patient may require additional topical anesthetic during the irrigation procedure. The patient presented in this video sustained a chemical splash to both eyes, so the irrigation process was repeated on the opposite eye. Remember the key steps to irrigation. Assessment of pH prior to irrigation, application of topical anesthetic, removal of particulate matter with a cotton-tipped applicator, and copious irrigation with normal saline solution. The Morgan lens may be used in cases where prolonged irrigation is required. Attach the lens to the saline tubing, then open the wheel clamp so fluid flows through the device. Remember to apply a topical anesthetic to the eye prior to insertion of the lens. Instruct the patient to look downwards and insert the lens under the upper eyelid. Next, ask the patient to look upward and insert the other half of the lens under the lower eyelid. Once the lens is fully inserted, increase the flow of saline through the tubing. Morgan lenses do not provide vigorous irrigation and may not thoroughly irrigate the fornices. They should thus be used only after primary irrigation with one liter of saline. Morgan lenses are useful in cases in which bilateral irrigation is required as they allow a single clinician to irrigate both eyes simultaneously. After the irrigation is complete, Evert the upper eyelid to ensure that there are no residual deposits in the superior conjunctiva. Apply gentle pressure to the superior part of the superior tarsus with a cotton-tipped applicator, 
then lift the upper eyelid margin upwards and backwards toward the patient's forehead. Hold the averted eyelid in place with the applicator and use a second applicator to remove any visualized foreign material. Resweep both the inferior and superior fornices to remove any residual particles that cannot be visualized. Check the pH of the eyes again after irrigation. If a neutral pH of 7.0 has not been achieved, continue the irrigation. Once the pH has normalized after irrigation, repeat the determination in 20 minutes to assess for any delayed changes. Perform a slit lamp examination of the eye to assess for corneal injury and for particles embedded in the conjunctiva. Additional aftercare instructions can be found in the written portion of this procedure.